Does it bother you when people put Canelo at the pound for pound number one spot? And seeing as when Andre Ward retired, it kind of was a, like a consensus that everybody knew like Terrence Crawford is that guy now. But lo and behold, a year and a half, two years later, they got Canelo pound for pound number one. Does, does, does that bother you? It, it bothers me. It just goes back to the same. This, these writers, man, they, they got their favorites. They got their fucking favorites, man. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, Golden Boy's own ring magazine. Mm-hmm. So, so ordinarily, ordinarily, all those guys over there work for the same company that he, he is getting promoted by. So, of course, when he goes up and do the unbelievable, as they say, be a uh, a beat a, a dude that a a a guy that's on his way out, down on his, on his career, you know, struggling his last couple fights, that he he goes up and and beat him and stop him and shit, and they think that's the world of him. Oh, they let's put him pound for pound. No shit, no. Uh, 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 uh. You have uh, younger guys doing that, beating up on these mothers, beating up on other guys, champions, stopping them. You know what I'm saying? And, but they don't want to put my guy up there, man. Get the fuck out of here with that shit, man. Hey, man. <laughs> Sometimes uh, you ain't got the uh, complexion for the uh, protection around this boxing thing. Uh, yeah, real- say it again. Say it again, <laughs> bro. <laughs> hey, I want to ask you though, man. Do do you ever think we're gonna uh, get the uh, Canelo versus Charlo fight or Canelo versus Andre fight? A lot of people say like that these guys need to do something. These guys, I'm like, man, Charlo was the, the mandatory for almost a year, and Canelo be, became franchise champion. Demetrius Andre is on the zone over there, just waiting for a big fight. Been calling Canelo name out like. What does these guys have to do? Both of them are, are, are champions, and he's coming back down to fight Gennady Golovkin, though. Man, I tell you this. I, I just, you know, some fighters just being protected, man. Some fighters just being protected. And, and it's just like, just I could see, I could see them doing Canelo like, like PBC doing the 47 pounders over there. You know, fight around motherfuckers. Fight around motherfuckers that's so close. That's like getting next to the going to the beach and not getting wet. But you go so close. You step in, you step in damp sand, but you don't actually step in the ocean. You know what I'm saying? Because you really don't want to get wet. Just like just like uh uh brother Nassim Richardson, swim without getting wet. That's what he's trying to do. You're trying to swim in that division, but not trying to fight the, the fighters that's calling you out. That's that that people know gonna give you a run for your money. If you want it to be considered the best, fight the best, then man. Quit bullshitting. Quit fight these motherfuckers, old man and shit, or these motherfuckers that don't ain't gonna bring shit to the table. Fight one of these young cats, man. That's just a couple years older than you. Who look you in your face and tell you fuck you. Fuck anybody in whatever you stand for. Fight me, motherfucker. Since you think you so damn tough. But hey, he trying to swim without getting wet. Mm. Yeah, man. I, those are two fights that I definitely want to see. Uh, I, I want to get your opinion about uh, what Teddy Atlas had to say. Uh, he said when he was watching the uh, Devonchenko and Gennady Golovkin fight. That he feels like uh, Golovkin is becoming maybe a shot fighter, and he expects Canelo to dominate, if not stop him in the uh, in the trilogy fight. Do you think Gennady Golovkin, at this stage of his career, he's becoming a shot fighter? Well, he's I ain't gonna say he's shot, man, because he still got a lot of fucking heart shit, you know. If if he performs the way he performed his that last fight with that cat. Yeah, he's shot. He just could have had an off night. But if he get two performances back to back like that, yeah, you know, he might as well go to, you know, he, you know, go retire or something, man, because you can't get, you can't just get your ass kicked like that and then expect the motherfuckers to give it to you again. You know what I'm saying? Especially if he fight Canelo and shit. And uh, Canelo going to try to do everything he can to try to stop it. You know what I'm saying? So, I thought I thought I thought Triple G won the first one, but Canelo won that second one. So we'll see what's gonna happen that third one, though. 
What does a stoppage do for Canelo at, at this point in time in, in, in his career? We've seen Triple G take some of Canelo's best punches in that first fight and in the second fight. So if he's able to stop Gennady Golovkin, I would think that that, that says a lot because the last thing that Gennady Golovkin has is his power and a great chin. But you got to think about it, though. If, if Canelo stopping, it's going to look great. It's going to look good to the world because – he just stopped him the first two fights. The first fight, it was the call of the draw, but every thought, everybody thought that Triple G won. Then that second one, it was really close. You know, some could say that, you know, Triple G or it could have been a draw or the, the Canelo got it. But me, a, a, a hardcore boxing fan, if he's stopping, it's not going to do shit for me as a fan because the simple fact that is – Triple G, damn near 38, 30, 39 years old. He's an old man. Mm -hmm. Canelo's still young. That's just like fighting, uh, 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 what's his name? The dude he just stopped. Kovalev. Kovalev. That's not, that's not going to impress me, none. Well, uh, at least Triple G's not coming, not coming off a fight a month and a half before. You said, say that again? At least Triple G is not coming off a fight a right. month and a half before. Yeah, that's that's not gonna impress me. That's 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 not gonna what's gonna impress me with this cat, man. Go fight that little young bull that's on your ass that's called Boo Boo. They keep telling you you ain't shit. Now you turn around and stop him. Oh yeah, I'ma consider you, I'm gonna consider you in the top three for powerful power. You knock him off, but you ain't gonna knock him off because you won't say his name. 